After devoting 45 years to helping students with disabilities in New Jersey, a woman is now leaving those very students $1 million. Tia Davidson joins us now with a look at the bus. Oh, Haley, welcome back. Yeah, it is your girl. girl. It's yeah, been a while since it's all been three a while. of us. Yes. Yes. Summer vacation. <laughs> That's right. Well, Every year. Know, we all have a teacher that we love or that leaves a lasting mark, but Geneva v Via Cava loved teaching and her students so much she did something really special for them. You see, she retired in 1990, and that wasn't a special thing, but continued to visit the schools that she served. But in 2011, she died. Then in April of this year, the Dumont Public Schools received something they never expected, a check from her estate for $1 million. She left a donation in her will to fund scholarships for special education students seeking post-secondary education. Oh, oh my God! Teachers, I mean, you know, we... Those so of us who teach or have parents that have taught know that teachers don't make a whole lot of money oh, yeah. and they usually take the money that they mm -hmm. make, put it back into the classroom. What right. a tribute. I to mean, teachers. to think how long it took her to amass that amount of money and then to turn around and give it. I mean, that just shows yeah. the passion she had for I those know. students. Oh, yeah. She did. It's, oh. it's inspiring, you know. You it, hope, is. it makes you think like, oh, well, you know, could you do something like that one day? Oh, you know, sure. but it would take yeah. a lot of planning and a lot of thinking. Uh, it'll be awesome. interesting to see, though, the students who take advantage of this and what they Oh, what they the do. lives that she's oh, going to wow. change. Indeed. Very cool. All right, here's our next one. Some fans of the Kat Von D cosmetics line threatening to boycott this after Kat Von D, who is pregnant, announced that she is not planning to vaccinate her baby. She made the announcement on Instagram last week with the message, it was her personal approach to pregnancy. In the post, Von D says she intends to raise a vegan child without vaccination. She also says she's gotten a lot of backlash from the post and asked people to keep their unsolicited comments to themselves. Okay, mm. first of all, don't post it. Yeah, you exactly. don't want an unsolicited, you know, Good, response. You're to exactly. It. Right. You know, first of all, let's just start at the you beginning. You posted it exactly. And as parents, you know, we want to do the very best for our kids. And and mm -hmm. you know, for me, we vaccinated Rania, and we did it. You know, we did one shot every two weeks, yeah. so she wasn't like a pin cushion. We How follow, about you? Just mm -hmm. follow the doctor's orders, really, and you trust that they are looking out for the best interest. Right. And mm -hmm. I think also something else that I wonder when people do this is to get into schools, to yeah. go to daycares, those kinds of things, you have to have proof yeah. of vaccination. Right. And so I wonder, then you must plan on homeschooling, mm -hmm. or I, I don't know. So yeah. that, Because you don't want to endanger yeah. other children with That's your particular issue. choice. Mm -hmm. But when, yeah, it comes to, as you said, the great point, don't post something that you know is gonna be a provocative issue if you're not ready to handle the response. Exactly. You have to understand not everybody's going to think like you, and that's okay. And that is okay. But you have to understand people can choose to not support your business now if they don't want to. Exactly. Your choice, their choice. Exactly. And here's our last one. A mobile home park in California got an unexpected visitor. Residents of Sonora were surprised to see a mother bear and her cub in their backyards. Well, Brenda Grilly got the surprise of her life when she saw and captured on camera this mama wandering with her cub behind the home. Now they say that the bears are not aggressive. Local okay. sheriff's department along with fish and wildlife representative were finally able to shoo the bears back into the <laughs> wild. <laughs> Neighbors are not really anxious for a repeat performance. I Ooh. would not want either. Yeah, no. No, no matter no. how many times we see these yeah. videos, it's cool for us to see the video, but think if you look out your back mm -hmm. window and you're like, Okay. Oh, yeah. Never going outside And this is again. the time of year I think that bears are starting to oh, yeah. come out when you're starting to see and them, we're right? doing reports of it. I think yeah. there are some in Estill County, mm -hmm. and so they're starting to come closer and I know. closer. You see the little cubs, and they're cute, but the mama bear, you know. Yeah, you yeah. don't touch. It's yeah. just like with us. We're like mama bears. You don't yeah. touch our babies. <laughs> exactly right. And that's our buzz. All righty, Dia. Thank you <laughs> so much. We've got